Hi FYC instructors, this is a video about setting up Gradebook. I'm going to go pretty quickly, but I think you can handle it. I just clicked on instructors, now I'm going to click technology tutorials, and now there's a link there called setting up Grade Center. You can use that page as a reference to everything I do here. I'm going to show you how to set up the weight by category option. The other two options are there with text demonstrations, but I'm going to explain this one. Great. So the first thing we should do is log into Blackboard and head to our Grade Center. Um, I did that by going to Evaluation Grade Center, right? Okay. Well, the first thing I have to do is set up my categories. So I'll go to Manage Categories. That makes sense, right? I want to manage my categories. I know that when you need it, you can't always find it. Let's create a category for each item in the syllabus. So the thing I need to do now is grab my syllabus, right? So in another window, I'm going to head to the main FYC page, head to 1101, and then go to Fall 2010 Syllabus, because right now as I'm making this, Fall 2010 is beginning. In the syllabus, there's this handy chart with how everything needs to be weighted. So that's what I'm going to refer to. I see in-class writing is one assignment. So back here in Blackboard, I'm going to create a category called in-class writings. Now watch things go really fast as I set up all of the other ones as well. Okay, all of my categories are now here, so I'll click OK. Alright, now we have to go to the weighted total category, which is a default category that should exist in every new Blackboard course. I want to edit the way that it weights things, so I'm going to click this little arrow and click Edit Column Information, because I want to, you know, edit the information about how this column does what it does. So every once in a while I get this pop-up, I just hit run or cancel, I don't see much of a difference, it drives me crazy. I'm going to scroll down to this really important section here. What I want to do is get these categories into this big box so that I can weight them appropriately, but I can't weight them until they get in here. Um, the reason this whole section up here on the left is if I was weighting by item, which you might remember um, back on the setting up grade center page, weight by item was the first option. So if you're like, well wait, oh, how, what do I use this section for? It's a whole different thing. Right now we're just going to worry about getting these categories over here. So one by one, I'm going to take all of the categories that I just made, click them, then click this little arrow, and watch that category move from here to here. See? Informal writing. Great. Now I'm going to take another one, presentation. I just made that a second ago. Click it once click this little arrow once, BAM! It's over there. It's amazing. It's like a rocket ship. One by one, homework, project one, project two. I don't really care about the order right now. Um, it's not something that particularly matters. I'm just going to make sure that every category that I want to use ends up in here. Well, great. There they all are. Now I'm going to go back to the syllabus and ask myself, okay, in class writing, what should it be worth? 10%. In class writing, in class, well, I, guess, I guess this is where order would have helped, whatever. I'm going to type 10 in there, right next to in class writings, and I'm going to do the same thing for each of the categories. Great, now I've got all my percentages in. They should all add up to 100. I'm also going to go to each one and click proportionally. If you want the explanation of why that is so, feel free to go to that text tutorial that I told you about at the beginning of this video. Um, for these purposes here, it's simplest if you just click proportionally for every single one. I want to make sure calculate as a running total is still yes. 
Now I'm going to click Submit. Now you're not going to see a lot of difference here, but that means the weighted total here has all the secret underlying power now, so that every time you insert a grade and put the grade into the right category, it's going to change the grade in this weighted total to the correct total. Um, it's a little confusing because there's also a total category here. You have to direct your students to pay attention to the weighted total, not the total. The total will just be an unweighted collection of points, how many points possible how many points they got out of the points possible. You know what I like to do? Because the total I think is a little confusing. I go to manage um, column organization and hide the total category. You just click it and you can click hover over show hide and then hide selected columns. Now it's um, in gray showing that students aren't going to see it. Personally I don't care about last access availability um, for my students either or their username so I hide all of those it just makes things a little bit cleaner um, you'll see that right here now that I've clicked submit um, I don't have quite as much junk to wade through, wade through I only have my good stuff it still exists I can get it back if I want same place manage column organization but I don't need it